In this video, the most powerful law of attraction technique for attracting anything that you want that is not in the movie The Secret. It is a beautiful day here in Hawaii, and it's actually a rainy day, but it's still very beautiful. And this is what The Secret is not teaching you, what most people about the law of attraction aren't talking about. And this is something that I've been practicing for forever, and then I just got an amazing success story from someone that tried to use The Secret had no success for eight years and did this one thing I'm about to share with you and they doubled their income in two weeks, created an entirely new business and health, changed their whole life. I can't wait to share this with you. This is the most powerful law of attraction manifestation technique, not in the secret and it's gonna help you create what you want a lot faster. So I was about to make a different video and then I got this message from an individual and here's what he said. Hello Jake, I read the book The Secret like eight years ago and fell in love with the idea of manifesting what I wanted. I tried for a long time to make it work. I really did, but nothing happened. Fast forward eight years ago, I have been struggling financially and with my health a lot. When one day I came across one of your videos. The way you put things made it all finally make sense. All that time, I still hadn't been truly convinced to myself to believe that what I wanted, I already had. I started putting your advice into action and with every fiber of my being, as if I was fighting for my life. Then, wouldn't you know, things started changing. It felt better mentally and spiritually and I got the confidence I needed to start my own business. Then I started focusing on my income. I built a spiritual and emotional connection with what I wanted as if it were already true. And within less than two weeks, I doubled my income. I want people to know this stuff really works and if you start using it as though you're fighting for your life, you will be shocked at the results. Thanks again, God bless. That's from Christopher. And here's what's so important to understand about this. You can use this for money, health, happiness, anything you want. Make sure you watch this video through. This is going to change your life. So I see this problem a lot that people write me about and they have this challenge. They watch the movie The Secret and then they come across my videos and maybe they're skeptical because things didn't work before. And you know, one of the things that the a lot of people don't touch on. I think someone who does a fantastic job of teaching uh, this aspect is Dr. Joe Dispenza. The Secret, the movie, and a lot of um, channels online are fantastic, but they're, they're not talking enough. It's too much in the mental realm. So you hear about the idea of how to act as if, and Christopher shared, you know, I did all these things they said, and I wasn't getting the results. But when you conceptualize the idea of acting as if, it becomes purely a mental. You have to move from the mental realm, which is, I want this thing, and yay, and I want this thing. You gotta move to the emotional realm. Because the only way to use, to manifest what you want, or to use the secret, or to use the law of attraction, or to act as if, you know, he talks about, I was doing it as if my life depended on it. What type of energy is that? It's a total energy shift from um, I really want something to change. I really want more money. I really want health to man, this is happening. You, you become so much more emotionally involved. And now we know from, uh, neuroscientific researchers like Dr. Joe Dispenza and dozens and dozens of other ones, when you have an emotion, whether it's a real emotion, and I put that in parentheses because by real, I mean, generally we think we can only feel based off of our present circumstances in our life. Well, how do I feel wealthy if I don't have any money? Like, how do I feel like excited about romance when my last 10 relationships haven't worked out? You have to move from the real realm to the emotional realm. You can feel any emotion that you want regardless of whether you have that thing in your life or not. In fact, it's in a lot of instances the only way to manifest what you want. So Christopher talked about feeling it on the deepest level level. And so the most powerful technique is actually feeling it, is shifting the way you feel. When you start to feel good, 
what you're really there's a there's a uh, Indian guru named Muktananda, and he said, "What's the difference between good and God?" And he went like this. Zero. There is zero difference between good and God. When you start to feel good, then the law of attraction is working. You can do every affirmation, you can do everything you want, but unless you feel different, then the shift hasn't happened. So comment down below, I intend to feel good. Comment down below, I intend to feel good. Now I'm gonna share with you a bunch of ways that you can actually jumpstart this emotional shift to come in alignment with what you want. And you pick the ones that speak to you most. All of these work tremendously. And I'm gonna share some of those with you. But comment down below, I intend to feel good. And start saying that to yourself. I intend to feel good. Say it, I intend to feel good and when you intend to feel good and thus you create that in your own energy field that's when the shift happens so let me share with you some of these techniques number one ask yourself how would it feel and what I mean by that is let's say you wanted more money what does wealth feel like just ask yourself that question what does sometimes it's hard for people to start to act as if mentally and that's why I'm saying it's important to go from the mental realm to the emotional realm. So what does wealth feel like? Or if, you, if that one's difficult, then say, what would it feel like to have financial freedom? Or let's say there's certain things you want out of, out of having money. You want to travel. You want to go to Bali. What would it feel like to go to Bali? Close your eyes and imagine you're in Bali. What would that feel like? And when you do that, your desire is up here and, you're, and, you're down, and the reality that you want may be right here. But when you go, what would it feel like to live in Bali? What would it feel like to have my dream car or whatever it is? Then your, your emotions go to here and your level of consciousness and your vibration actually meets your desire. So you can do a million affirmations. I have the money to go to Bali. I have the money to go to Bali. You can watch the movie The Secret 10,000 times, but you could stay right here unless you have an emotional shift. The emotional shift is what triggers um, new nerve cells in your brain, builds new neural connections, and it changes your energy and vibration. That's what changes everything. The law of attraction says like energy attracts like energy. Your emotions are your energy. Feel. So when you go, what would it feel like to be in Bali? What would it feel like to finally wake up every day with my soulmate? What would it feel like? Man, my heart would feel so open. It feels so good. And you just like drop into the energy, the emotion of it. And then all of a sudden you go, and then your energy raises. Then that's how the law of attraction can respond to it. So number one is to ask yourself, how would it feel? And you can insert anything you want. How would it feel to finally get get my dream job? How would it feel to have the money, the love, the, the this, the that? Insert, fill in the blank there and, and, and ask yourself that question to prompt the feeling within you. Because when you prompt the feeling, you move from the mental realm to the emotional realm. And that's how your vibration shifts. And once your vibration shifts, your point of attraction changes, and that's how you make the law of attraction start working. So comment down below, feeling is the secret. Comment down below, feeling is the secret. Comment down below, feeling is the secret. Number two, say your affirmations out loud with energy. So a lot of times people will repeat them in their head. Again, that's staying in the mental realm. We have to evoke emotions. We need to move to the emotional realm. So let's say your affirmation was, I'm so grateful I'm making $2,000 a month. I'm so grateful I travel around the world. I'm so grateful I've attracted my soulmate, whatever it is. So moving from the mental realm is, I'm so grateful I'm attracting $2,000 a month. I'm so grateful I've attracted my soulmate. Here's the emotional realm. I am so grateful out loud. I'm I'm so grateful I've attracted $2,000 a month. I am so grateful I'm traveling all over the world for my dream job as a photographer for National Geographic. I'm so grateful I've attracted my soulmate we, we, and we're traveling all over the world, whatever it is. You move from the, me, the me, that do, it doesn't always, for some people it does, but most often it doesn't evoke emotion to stay in the mental realm. That was Christopher's problem. He hadn't moved to the emotional realm. That was the same problem I had. I intellectually knew what I wanted. I wanted to be 
a world-renowned thought leader inspiring millions of people, making millions of dollars. I wanted a YouTube channel inspiring millions of people. I knew what I wanted. I did the affirmations, but I wasn't getting the progress I wanted. And I didn't realize that I wasn't evoking the emotion. So my the shift I started making was every morning, I put my affirmations on the refrigerator. And one of the first, I'd you know, wake up, drink water, or whatever. Within the first five minutes, I would read out loud, standing up with excitement, like I was speaking in front of an audience or people were hearing. So I was doing it with that same level of intention, intensity, and passion. I would read all my affirmations um, off the refrigerator. Then I created an affirmation binder that had even more. I would read them. It only take me by the time I was done. 10 minutes. But by the time I finished that, I would be supercharged emotionally. Then what happens is the subconscious mind responds to emotion. So all of a sudden, all my affirmations and my goals and my dreams that I had that were never entering my subconscious because I was stuck in the mental realm, all of a sudden I start reading them out loud excitedly and doing that in the morning and at night. And what happened? My subconscious picked up the emotional shift, the energy shift, the vibration shift and it started to think what I wanted was real and all of a sudden everything took off in my life I went from no YouTube subscribers to you know almost 500,000 millions of views online to 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 uh, attracting a, a million dollar business all these things because I started reading them out loud to implant my subconscious mind so pick your affirmations and read them out loud with passion number three you can use hypnosis in order to start to change the subconscious subconscious emotional patterns and beliefs you have with respect to success. That's one of the big things that changed my life um, and I made one for myself to start to change the emotions that I had so I'd play it all the time. I would do an actual you know, visualization, meditation, hypnosis session in the morning, one at night, but then while I'd work or while I would journal or while I was cooking or stretching or whatever I was doing, I would let it play all the time because you have 65,000 thoughts in a day, there's always information information coming into us. I figured why not spend 20, 30% of my waking time listening to this thing constantly over and over and over again. And what happened is my emotions with respect to my success started changing. I started to feel like I already had it. Why? Because that 65,000 thoughts that I had started slowly shifting the pendulum towards what I wanted as opposed to old limiting beliefs that were stored in my subconscious. So Jake's hypnosis is right there down below Jake's hypnosis um, and it's free over 300,000 people from all over the world have used it and obviously I had no idea that it would ever get that big but um, you know I made it for myself and then I put it up online like uh, about two years ago and so it's free to use it's jakeshypnosis.com right there down below jakeshypnosis.com right there down below number four the record player this is what I call the record player and this is when you you sit for a minute and you go all right what would happen if I already got what I wanted? So for me, it might be, um, and I, it, this is one that I've replayed a lot in my mind is I was like, okay, if my YouTube channel took off, what would happen? And so what, what I came to the conclusion, I thought about it and I was like, what would happen? So a realistic scenario could been, and this was when my YouTube channel was getting no progress. I was getting like two subscribers a day. I was getting less than a hundred views on videos. And I was spending a lot of time this over a long period of time and no progress. And what I started to do, what, or what I asked myself and what I came to the realistic conclusion was what would happen if it took off? Realistic scenario could be I come into my office, I you know shake the mouse to reflect to um, refresh the computer screen, and then I, I get onto the computer, type in my little password, get onto YouTube. Oh my God, my videos went viral. Look at all these comments. There's like all these notifications. Whoa, 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 all these videos have a bunch of views. What the heck happened? I got a bunch of subscribers now, right? And then going through the emotion of that and replaying that little snippet over and over. So I was like, that's realistic. And that evokes a lot of emotion. You could feel the emotion in my voice just when I said it. So what I started doing was replaying that same end result over and over in my head. That same walk into the room, refresh the mouse or refresh the screen 
shake the mouse, open it up, all these comments, all these views, all these subscribers. Oh my gosh, what the heck happened? Ashley, you won't believe this, oh my gosh. Right, like I would do it like that and I would replay it over and over. And I call that the record player. So think about something that would happen, a quick snippet, two to 10 seconds of a very vivid picture and, and situation of what would happen if you got whatever it is that you wanted. Whether it was walking on the beach with your soulmate, something happened financially, career, health, an adventure in your life, doesn't matter what it is. But think of a snippet like that. And then you can either use visualization or before bed or you listen to my hypnosis um, and while you're listening to it, you, you do that same snippet over and over and over and over again. And you use a snippet that is the way to tell whether it's a good um, snippet to use or not is, is it exciting? Because the excitement is an emotional shift and that's the raising of vibration that you want. And so pick a two to 10 second little snippet of something that would happen had you attracted what it is that you want and then you can replay that in your head and then it'll start to shift your consciousness and when your emotion shifts, your subconscious will be like, oh, this thing is real. And then it'll program into your subconscious. Like what happened to me, I started getting emotionally involved in that little snippet of, of reality over and over. Soon my subconscious thought it was real and actually the way my channel blew up was very similar. I wasn't getting any progress. My wife and I were camping and I didn't have any internet service and I had to go to a cafe to publish a video. I logged and I got onto the internet cafe and when I logged in to the, to the Wi-Fi, I had all these comments and I was like, what the heck is happening? And I went in and I had all these subscribers and I like, oh, one of my, and then I was like, what the heck? And one of my videos had went viral. It was just as surprising. The only difference to the visualization that I did was my, I visualized it in my house every time, but in reality it happened while I was in Oregon at a uh, coffee shop, you know, checking. But the same situation, I was like, Ashley, oh my God. She was like getting tea or something. And I she came over, I was like, look what just happened. And that's how it happened. So that's another option is the record player, the end result technique. So comment down below, comment down below what I want manifest now. Comment down below what I want manifest now. Comment that down below what I want manifest now. Comment that down below what I want manifest now. Comment that down below what I want manifest now. And if you haven't yet, make sure you download Jake's Hypnosis, it's free, and start to use that with the end result record player technique, jakeshypnosis.com right there down below. Last but not least, here's one more technique that you can apply. My wife and I call this oogling and what we used to do is walk around our neighborhood and talk as if we already had what we wanted out loud. So I'd go like, Ashley, can you believe it? All my videos went viral and oh my gosh, we're living in Hawaii now. We have our dream home and oh my gosh, finally we've got, we've got financial freedom. We can pay all of our bills and we have freedom to go travel and do what we want and this is happening and that's happening and oh my gosh, you're selling art pieces all over the world. And we would do it like that and we would go on a walk for like 15 minutes out loud and do that and pretty soon it started to feel really really real so you can do this by yourself talking to yourself out loud or if you have a husband boyfriend girlfriend friend study partner person that's interested in this business partner anything you could do this with them too we call it um, our oogling technique walk around the block do it in the car anything but set a timer and be like for the next 10 minutes we're gonna talk out loud with excitement as if we already have what we want your brain is gonna start think it's gonna real all your cells are gonna start vibrating in harmony with that new reality and then boom, it starts to shift and you attract these things into your life. Thank you for watching this video. Comment down below what I want manifest now. Comment down below what I want manifest now. If you have not yet, make sure you download jakeshypnosis.com right there down below. And I created a software called The Second Mind. When I, you know, this video is about how to emotionally feel it so you can get the results that you want and the things that a lot of people miss from the movie The Secret. And so I created a software designed to rewire the brain and shift the emotional patterns so you start to feel as if you already have what you want. It's called The Second Mind and it's free to demo. It's right there down below, thesecondmind.com, right there down below, thesecondmind.com. So go ahead right there down below and you can demo that. It's pinned to the top of the comments, thesecondmind.com, right there down below, thesecondmind.com. So hit the subscribe button, the bell notification. The bell notification is what notifies you for new videos, even if you already subscribed. Just double check you've actually hit that bell notification. Otherwise, you don't get notified for new videos. Hit like on this video to send it out into the YouTube universe. Comment down below, feeling is the secret. Comment down below, feeling is the secret. Comment down below, feeling is the secret. And 
share with me which of these techniques you enjoy most or are going to use first. Comment down below and share with me the number. TheSecondMind.com right there down below. Demo that for free and watch what magic starts to unfold into your life. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for watching this video and I'll talk to you soon.